I live in a town with two bakeries, a brewery, a flour mill, a few butchers, a dairy and a few other local enterprises. We also have a cooperative farm. I work in the community nursing home so I don't have time to grow my own vegetables. Uh, so I buy into the cooperative farm. I pay a set fee every week and then I can email my order in once a week for my eggs, my cheese, my yogurts and all that stuff. Uh, then I can pop down and pick up my veg whenever I feel like it and every week I try to get to the local market. Every week the repair cafe is held in the men's shed. We all come along for a cup of tea and our fixer uppers. Last week they mended my radio. Um, my youngest works in the furniture co-op. He's making chairs at the moment and my son is working in the bank. My daughter works in the local primary school and she's able to tell me all about how they teach the kids through the best way that helps those children. This term they're learning through football. Every week they go to the community garden and they meet up with Age Action who come along and they share their skills and their stories. All of this is powered with the solar panels on all the roofs, the hydro up the stream, up the road, um, the anaerobic digesters on all of the farms and we also have a, a wind turbine at the back of the football pitches. The transition movement and public participation in policy, especially the People's Energy Charter, has taught me that active citizenship is very important. People power changes the mindset of government. Imagine your community, a place of caring, a place of sharing, a place of well-being, then build it.